In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a few polishes that I received from Born Pretty. I'm also going to be doing a marbling set using a few of these colours. So, I'm not sure if this collection has a name. It's just got some really pretty bright summery colours in here. And I'm going to swatch them for you so you can see how they look. I only show the swatch for this light pink colour because we've all seen my swatches time and time again <laughs> so i just showed it for this one and i proceeded to just show the rest of the colors by the bottle i really like the formula of these they are really creamy and they somewhat remind me of madame glam's polishes and some of them i swatched only needed one coat and that is always a plus so this video was supposed to be up on sunday maybe monday latest but here we are on a wednesday and i'm probably not even gonna upload it on wednesday and I really don't want to upload it on a Thursday because my main video I'm going to post on a Friday. So unfortunately, I might have back-to-back -back uploads on the Thursday and Friday because I procrastinated like no other and my husband is screaming. But anyways, let me know which one is your favourite. If you want some of these, as always, I have a discount code. I'll put it in the description box and somewhere on the screen. So this was the marble design I initially was going to do. I tested out the blooming gel just to see how I would like it and I thought it came out cool. So the following day I went to go fill my nail set and they did not look like the nail I just showed you guys. I don't know what happened, I don't know what I did different, I felt like I did exactly the same thing but it wasn't looking that good so I decided to change the colours and it still didn't give me that effect but I did end up liking this colour scheme a lot more than the previous one. The blooming gel I'll be using is from A Melly, A Miley. I, I couldn't even tell you, I don't know. <laughs> but it was on sale on Amazon for about $6 maybe. Also really quick, apologies if my voice cracks or I just sound different. I'm a little bit hoarse, I have a bit of a sore throat. But once I put my colours down, I mixed it with my dotting tool. It's important that you don't over mix, otherwise when you apply it onto your nail, it will look really muddy. If you don't mind that that's okay it still does look like a marble but if you want like the true marbling it's best not to mix too much to get started i had applied a thin layer of the blooming gel i scooped up some of the paint flipped my brush upside down so that the paint would be facing the nail tip and i just kind of hovered all around the nail but specifically dragging downwards to create somewhat of a ripple effect i'm assuming this is the technique i don't know <laughs> because I think everyone has their own way of marbling and I think this is how I did it in my first marble video. That is weirdly enough my most popular nail video. I don't think it was gonna go anywhere. I mean, it still hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> I think it has 5,000 views. There's a motorcycle outside. Um, I'm all scatterbrained by the way. I just finished work, I filmed a video and now I'm doing this voiceover and I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know if any of you watched my last video but I said I'm training for a new role in my job and my brain is completely fried. <laughs> the information is too much like at my fifth hour my brain was at capacity like it had had enough. <laughs> so apologies if I'm all over the place in this voiceover but what I was saying is everyone has their own technique. I don't think there's one solid thing you have to follow because you'll get something different all the time. So you can pretty much just do whatever you want and you probably will end up with a marble design. One thing I noticed about the blooming gel is that when you apply the gel paint on top of the blooming gel, sometimes there was what looked like cracks that just seemed to not fill up with gel paint. I'm not sure what that was about. You'll see it closer at the end or you might be able to see it now, but that was one thing I experienced and I'm wondering is it just this brand or is that how blooming gel is? I had seen that some people don't particularly like to use blooming gel because they say it spreads too much and when I was looking at the nail I'm working on now I'm like is this what they mean? You can see a difference between the middle finger, well the middle nail and the other two. The middle one just seems to be spread out a lot more and towards the end i'm going to show you how to do a marble effect if you don't have blooming gel
so this is how they turned out because i wasn't a fan of the middle one i decided to redo it so i did one with blooming gel and one without so the blooming gel is on the left and the one without is on the right so for the most part it's pretty much the same technique on both nails the only difference is the way the brush faces when i'm doing the nail without the blooming gel So when I do marbling without a blooming gel, what I like to do is flip my brush the other way and kind of deposit the polish onto the nail tip, if that makes any sense. So pretty much when you grab your bead off of your mixing plate, you just put the clean side of your brush down and drag. What is with these motorcycles today? Like I know it's hot, but there's no need for all this noise. <laughs> But anyways, the best way I can put it is clean side of your brush down and drag downwards. Then you will start to see your marble forming. One thing I will add is that doing it this way without blooming gel causes the nail to be a bit bulky because as you can see, there's a lot of polish on the side. And if you try to wipe that off, you will wipe your design away. It's not so much wiping the design away, you just kind of smudge it. I just try to gently wipe the sides without going over into the nail too much. If you want to patch up tiny spots that weren't covered, all you need is a tiny bit of polish on the brush and then slightly tap the area that needs to be covered and sometimes you can't even tell that you had to go in and patch it. This is how they look side by side and I think I prefer the one with blooming gel. Let me know which one you guys prefer with or without blooming gel. I also placed both middle nails onto the set to see which one I preferred and I ended up liking the one that wasn't done with blooming gel. I felt like it flowed better but let me know what you guys think. Thank you to Born Pretty for sending me this and if you like this video like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.